70 games over 500. The pressure is on to validate that season and avoid the all too familiar line. Yeah, you had a great year, but what happened in the playoffs? American League Division Series Game 1, Indians and M's from Safeco. Our Sports Center Showcase, Carlos Guillen watching from the bench, recovering from tuberculosis. Mark McLemore starting it short for Seattle. Bottom one, Bartolo Colon gets Brett Boone. Colon looking good after lasting only one and a third in his last regular season start against the Royals when he was roughed up. Top two, one gone. This is center. McLemore starting it short, and he sticks the landing. Freddy Garcia, your thoughts? Thank you. Bottom three, Ichiro on first, following his second single, Colon. Pitches out, Enar Diaz down to second. Ichiro was going, and he's hung up. Great call by Charlie Manuel. Ichiro three for four in his first postseason game, but Seattle could not capitalize. Top four, Juan Gonzalez. Floats one, they wave Alomar. Gonzalez, 140 RBIs this season, but gets his first against Seattle all year long in game one of the ALDS. Indians lead 1-0. Three batters later, they're loaded for Travis Fryman. He knocks it into center. Gonzalez comes in. Cleveland leading 2-0 on a couple of blue pits. Next batter, Marty Cordova. He goes to center. Jim Tomey comes in. 3-0 tribe. Garcia gave up five hits and a walk to open up the fourth inning. Bottom four now, John Olerud. To first, look at Jim Tomey start the 3-6-3. Bartolo Colon just 14 and 12 during the regular season, but getting plenty of support in the playoffs. Bottom five, Ichido to left center, and look at Kenny Lofton avoiding the collision with Cordova. Ichido leaves two runners on. Top six, Friday. To third, David Bell, nice stop, but he's a little too deep. Friday beats it, infield single. Next up, it's Marty Cordova. And this one plunks Garcia. Look at the play by Garcia here. Nice effort, but he gets Cordova square in the back. Prime at the third. Garcia would get looked at, but he remained in the game. Next batter, it's Enar Diaz. It's a deep short. Cordova beats McLemore's throw to second. This plates Fryman and the Indians have a 4-0 lead. And that would be it for Garcia. He allowed four runs on nine hits in five and a third. Bottom six, Edgar Martinez at third with two outs. Cologne right by John Olerud, who was 0 for 4 with three Ks. Bottom seven, Mike Cameron let my Cameron go. He was also 0 for 4 with three Ks. Two batters later, Dan Wilson can't catch up. Cologne, eight scoreless, allowed six hits, struck out 10. Bottom eight, 99 on the gun by McLemore. Bob Whitman, K2 in the ninth, and the Indians win game one, five zip. Indians winning a playoff opener for just the third time at 11 series since 1995. This one resumes with game two on Thursday, Chuck Finley against Jamie Moyer. Pitching the game one story, namely Bartolo Colon. Moyer against Roberto Alomar. Good fielding on the mound, retiring the side 1-2-3 in the first. What about Chuck Finley making his first postseason appearance since the 1986 ALCS as we flash back? Finley made three relief appearances in 86 against the Red Sox. It was his rookie season. He waited 15 years to start a postseason game. Oh, and then with Ichiro on first, Mike Cameron. Just his second hit in 18 at-bats all-time against Finley. Cameron's first career postseason homer. Two batters later with a man on first. First pitch to Edgar Martinez. Gobbling up a needy fastball out of Finley. Finley had come in having allowed just two homers in his last 11 starts. Edgar's seventh career postseason home run. Two outs, top of the second, 4 nothing. Moyer getting Tome. Off-speed stuff. Top of the fourth, runners on first and third. Two out, Jamie Moyer facing Tome again. Big spot for Jim. Uh-oh. Five Ks in two games for Tome. Indians fail to score. Bottom five, same score. Nobody out. David Bell looking large. Seattle's first hit since Martinez is homer. Bell, a homer, two for three, an RBI, five nothing ends. Top of the seventh, one on nobody out, Tome. Off of Moyer, opposite way, Jim's only hit in two games in the series. Two on now, nobody out. Lou Pinnell will come out to the mound to talk to his veteran pitcher. Says Moyer is done, he gets the standing, oh, well-deserved. Five hits allowed in six innings, one earned run, four Ks. In the game, Jeff Nelson, and just to make it interesting, Nelson walked Travis Fryman to load the bases, and then this is just... Nelson in trouble and then out of it. 6-4-3 double play. A run did score. Two outs. Next batter, Anar Diaz. Diaz. That's a flare up the middle. Cameron. 
puts the squeeze on it. Inning over, just one run scored by Cleveland there. Top of the eighth, Arthur Rhodes on the hill, the diamond stud earrings in full view. Omar Vizquel on deck. Remember what happened between these two guys in August? Let's refresh your memory. memory. While warming up on the mound, the umpire's confronting Rhodes about the diamond earrings he was wearing because Omar complained that the glare from the earrings were bothering him. Rhodes was like, you gotta be kidding me, and Vizquel was saying other things that we can't repeat. Both benches would clear, and it's all over an accessory. Rhodes eventually ejected from the game. Okay, now back to the game. Rhodes getting Vizquel to fly to right center. Ichiro, nice catch. He's also hitting 571 in this series as Ichiro. Tribe down 5-1, two outs. Suzaki getting Fryman. Game over. For the second straight game, the Mariners managed just six hits, but this time, three of those hits were home runs, resulting in all five runs. The Margie, a not-so-innocent bystander. Top one, two men aboard. Sabathia gets Brett Boone. Start of a long day for Boone. Later in the inning, Mariners have loaded the bases with one out. Sabathia against John Olerud. That will bring in Ichiro, and the Mariners go up 1-0. Bottom one, man on for Robbie Alomar, facing Aaron Seeley. It'll go to the wall. Ichiro will miss the cutoff, man. And that would allow Omar Vizquel, who was once traded from Seattle to Cleveland for Felix Fermin and Reggie Jefferson. He scores. Alomar goes to third. We're tied at one. Next batter, Juan Gonzalez. Little fist job out for a base knock. Alomar scores. Indians up 2-1. Top two, Sabathia finding his groove, looking like the second coming of John Candelaria. The whiff on David Bell. Facing Mark McLemore. 96 on the gun, and mom's got to be pleased. There's Margie. Bottom two, Travis Fryman leading off. Brett Boone. Nice stop. Got careless, nonchalant. Lou Pinella's team beginning to fall apart. This was the best fielding team in baseball. First and second, two outs for Vizquel. Down the line, Fryman will score. Boone's relay throw. Trying to get Anar Diaz off the mark. Indians take a 4-1 lead. That's it for Aaron Seeley. Two innings, four runs. Two earned. Top three, Sabathia still in control. Just ask Boone. Mm, nasty off speed. Boone's second K of the game. Bottom three, Paul Abbott against Juan Gunn. First Abbott's first pitch. A sign of things to come for Abbott. It's 5-1 Indians. It was 8-1 Indians when we pick up the highlights. Top five, Sabathia. Boone's number again. Top six, 9-1 Indians. Edgar Martinez. That's a sure base hit. Oh, wow. Well, not with Robbie Alomar out there. Bottom six, Jim Tomey. 49 homers during the regular season, sitting dead red, and it is gone. 17th career postseason home run, one behind Reggie and Mickey on the all-time postseason list. It's 17-2, top nine. John Rocker gets Boone, fourth time. He goes down swinging, and the rookie celebrates. Freddie Garcia, rest up as much as you can. Game four starter. Most runs allowed by Seattle this season. Second highest total was 15. Teams that had great regular seasons, but were then wiped out in the playoffs category. Now, Indians up two games to one, but here, what's his little revenge after that Arthur Rhodes earring thing? Sweet Lou wants that white T-shirt off of Bartolo Colon. Very distracting. <laughs> you can't possibly see the ball with that, so you're going to come out a little cool out there for the ball game, but the white T-shirt comes off, and here's Ishiro starting things off. Oh! The five-time gold glover, Omar Vizquel. An error, tried to hurry, knew he was running. And then Mark McLemore, next man, no damage. There's the double play for the Indians. No damage from the error. Bottom of the second, Juan, gone. Went out and got it on Freddy Garcia. Almost hit himself, one nothing. Tribe, top of the seventh. Mariners still down one nothing. Men on first and second. Cologne going for John Olrud, a slow man out there at second, but quick enough to have the ball hit him and then get to third base. Olrud over at third, first and third, nobody out. Lou looking at the matchups. Base is loaded after a walk to Mike Cameron, Al Martin, pinch hitting, hard grounder coming to the plate. Jim Tomey gets the force, heads up play by Tomey. Next man up, David Bell, base is still loaded, one out. Skies this to left field. Marty Cordova going after it, but that is deep enough. And then some Stan Javier tags up. Sacrifice fly, and we're tied up on Cologne 1-1. Ichiro is up next. Cologne stays in on a 1-0.
Only one guy on the Mariners hitting over 300, and it's Ishiro bat 563. Sensational, nine for 16 in this series. Play to the plate, not in time. Mariners take a 2-1 lead. Next man up is Mark McLemore. No hits in this series, but the base hit. Mariners take a 3-1 lead. Bottom of the eighth, Indians. Coming back, it's a 4-2 game. New two outs, man on second. Roberto Alomar is out there. Managers throughout the league said that man is the best outfielder in the league. Ishiro gets it for Arthur Rhodes. And then insurance time with a 4-2 lead. Edgar Martinez, a two-run shot. He was two for four, two RBIs. Mariners not done yet, and we're going to game five tomorrow. History is on Seattle's side because if the Tribe wins, it'll only be the second best-of-five series since 1976 where teams alternated wins through all five. You want youth? Please. Jamie Moyer and Chuck Finley get the call. Two nearly 39-year-olds born just eight days apart in November of 1962. Game five, Indians, M's. Jamie Moyer born November 18th, 1962. Chuck Finley, November 26th. 1962. Finley in trouble early. Bottom two, no score. Bases loaded. School's Dan Wilson on a splitter. Finley pitching on three days rest. 12 and 2 with the 4.37 ERA in his career in three days rest. Then he got Bell looking, but next batter, Mark McLemore. Holla. Two run score in the RBI. McLemore, first career two hit game in 23 career postseason games. Watch this play again. Marty Cordova dives the ball, drops in front of him. Nice trap, definitely though not a clean catch. M's up two zip. Next batter, Ichiro with two outs. Runners at the corners. Finley throws to first to pick off McLemore. McLemore is in a rundown. Mike Cameron breaks home. Omar Vizquel goes home. Cameron crashes into Einar Diaz. Diaz holds on to the ball for the out. Oh, that's some baseball. Top three, Travis Ryman in third. Diaz in first, one out. Kenny Lofton cannot get a little bit. Lofton only hit 105 in this series, but that's his 43rd career postseason hit. Cleveland within one. Fryman scores. Two batters later, Robbie Alomar drops to the 5-4-3 double play. In the regular season, Alomar did not hit, into, not hit into one single double play against the lefty. He did it twice in three innings in this one. Jamie Moyer turns it on, treating Juan Gonzalez like a dog. Remember, counting the Yankees, the home team was one of the last 10 decisive postseason games. Moyer strikes out Burks. Charlie Mangle didn't like the call. Moyer, 20-6 this year. Oldest first-time 20-game winner ever. Next batter, Jim Tomei got schooled. Cleveland's three through six hitters, 0 for 14, 6 Ks. Bottom five, Ichiro. Bigger Shita. Alomar tried to backhand it, couldn't McLemore. Ichiro safe. Ichiro, 12 for 20 in the series. 12 hits ties a big league division series record. David Risky up, ready in the bullpen. After a wild pitch and a walk, Finley leaves the game. And the base is loaded for Risky. After striking out, Bet Boone faces Edgar Martinez. Martinez went three for six in the game, but grounds to the 6-4 fielder's choice to end the inning. Bottom seven, Ichiro, hard grounder. Nice play by Omar, but Ichiro just has mad wheels. He only hit 263 in 10 career postseason games in Japan. After a sack bunt move, Ichiro to second. Danny's Baez in to face Edgar Martinez. Martinez is cool as the other side of the pillow. Off the meat rack, Ichiro scores. Martinez hitting 375, 17 RBI in 20 career division series games. Top eight, Jeff Nelson on the mound. Tells Travis Fryman, sit. Nelson, 2.76 ERA. He left after one and two-thirds, one hit, no runs. Arthur Rhodes comes in to face Kenny Lofton. Rhodes had a 1.72 ERA this year. Gets Lofton to fly out deep to center. Mike Cameron made the catch near the warning track to end the inning. Rhodes, geek. Kazuhiro Suzaki in to close it. 45 saves for the season. Pitch on the way. Swing and a line shot. One hopper into David Bell. He throws the first. Is the first time term. The Mariners will find out. They'll play for the American League Championship for the third time. My, oh, my. What a ball game here this afternoon. The blasphemy to say, oh. Mariners win, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you are counting, this is Seattle's 100.